Skanda Old Guard. Attitudes might be changing now, but the history is there. Sometimes the past is hard to escape. Yeah. Yeah, when it's right there, staring in your face, it is. Whoever decorated this room must have picked a soft light with the idea it would help clients feel calm. I'm not sure it's working. I think it might be working subconsciously. I didn't recognize his fa face or name, though. He must be part of a different division than the one I was in. Glad I never had to work with him. Yeah. Thirteen. Oh, it's almost late. It's almost late. Are we... I'm... I'm okay, I'm just gonna sit here until it's late. Oh, it's late! Yay! Woo! And, uh... Yeah, that's the achievement for the day, I guess. Let's continue on. Time for my next client already. Hmm. Welcome to Eliza. Hey, Harman Gunawan, I think. Hello, Harman. You found the place okay? Yeah, yeah, no, no trouble at all. Hmm. It's been nice since the fog cleared this morning, hasn't it? It looks like Korean or Indian. I, I'm not sure. I don't know what that name is. It sounds maybe Indian. I'm not sure. Sure. We, we can dispense with the chit chat. I'm, I'm ready to begin. All right. Okay. Right down to business, are we? What brings you here today? At first, let me note that I'm a graduate student at the University of Washington. Oh, are you one of the new hires <laughs> that that uh, Mark was harassing? Uh, I'm a PhD candidate in literature, uh, English literature. Oh. The crux of the matter I've come here to discuss is that I've been having something of a difficult time with one of the other students currently in the program. Oh. Before I get to the specifics, let me just first establish something that might be relevant. One thing I know about myself is that I've always had a certain fear of uh, being left out. It, it's a very general feeling and one that's difficult to ascribe to any specific cause in my childhood or my parents, etc. Whatever the case, it, it might be beneficial to the remedial process to figure out where this feeling originated from. So you're kind of doing my work for you. Perhaps you might uh, explore that in this or, or a future counseling session. Wait, did he say he was uh, a psychologist uh, student? I, I might be... I zoned out there for a bit, I'm sorry. I hope... I, I hope if, if that's the case, then that's interesting. Sure. I'm prepared to listen to any topic you'd like to discuss. It's not even that I've been left out, exactly. If I try to think back in my life, I know that I've been afforded a certain share of privilege. But I'm still afflicted with this bothersome notion that I've missed out on friendships, relationships, other opportunities. This, this is all just a bit of a background to help you understand my current situation with regard to another student in my program. Yeah? I hope you're following all this. I, I realize now I have no idea how much intelligence you actually possess as a computerized system. I'm following you. Please continue. Perfect. At so, least I am. Her name is Sylvia. So you have a... you, you like this And her person. writing is incredible. Everything she writes, it's brilliant. She's perceptive, insightful, mordantly funny. J just some of the best writing I've read from anyone, anyone at all. And she's a grad student, like me, in the same program. Though we have different advisors, so it's not so simple to find the pretext to start a casual conversation. Mm -hmm. She's also quite attractive on a physical level, so <laughs> that adds another dimension of complexity to the proceedings. And you're a virgin, are you? Then there's her friend group, which is well, very well established. She's with them every day, smiling, laughing. 
so that further complicates things, since I'm not sure how to approach the group and steer things so that I can engage in a direct conversation with her. I wish I had the bullheaded confidence it would take to simply approach her, but you see why I don't. <laughs> Listen to me talk, I feel like a schoolboy with my heart to flutter. You sound like a schoolboy. You sound like a virgin who doesn't know how to approach women. But I, I can get that it's... It's, uh, it can be intimidating, um, if you really like the person. I didn't think this kind of thing lasted into one's adulthood, but I suppose I know now that it does. I guess. It sounds like you might be anxious about this. Is it a matter of anxiety? I, I don't know what I can do, other than muster up the courage somehow. He seems like he's, he's, uh, perfectly good at... Uh, reasoning logically about this but he just can't get his body to do what he wants I just need to tell her very simply that I admire her she's such a good writer well I don't expect you to understand it of course but well she is she, she really is okay Harman I want you to imagine things going well what does that look like hmm ideally we start talking, have a wonderful conversation, spend more and more time together, oh. support each other's work, fall in love, have a lot of sex, spend the rest <laughs> of our lives in the warmth of each uh. other's genius. <laughs> oh, have a lot of sex. <laughs> yeah, okay. I realize that may be something of a fanciful notion at this stage. Really, the most I can hope for is to be able to meet her in an open social setting, a party or something. You'll likely ask me why I simply couldn't create such a situation, contrive one, but uh, that seems a little too aggressive for me, and also, uh, I'm also concerned about what she might think of me, as a person. So you've never talked she to her? She might immediately categorize me as a friend, and while I'm sufficiently with the times to know I would have to accept that, I can't say that I wouldn't be disappointed with such an outcome. Well, there's really nothing you can do other than talk to her. If she categorizes you as her friend, it's because she doesn't have that sort of, she she can't have that sort of feelings for you because she doesn't I don't know, she doesn't perceive you in that way and you don't fulfill the traits she needs in someone she would love. I don't I don't like friend zone friend zone uh the friend zoning meme because that's it's not a, a box girls put you in it's just it's it's not a box girls put you in because you did something at the wrong time or in a wrong way uh, and you had the potential to actually be their lovers it's it's she she's evaluated you and found that you fit more as a friend to her than something else that's it is the risk of rejection enough to stop me from giving it a try well, this is what confounds me for the present time why do you believe you are worried about being categorized as a friend well <laughs> wouldn't that be because he wants more than that well because because it's not what i want yeah. Because it feeds into this image I have of myself as something of an undesirable fellow. Well, you're you're quite quirky, but you're you're not undesirable. I wouldn't say. I've always been a bit of a you know, a bit of a non-entity as far as sexual magnetism goes. I get. I think that depends on what a woman likes. I I think he might be very, very sexual attractive to some women who like. You know this very you know this very blunt and and i don't know it's kind of like a yahtzee crochet it's very blunt and very just says things uh very, very harsh in some way but not cruel just very very honest and direct if i get that vibe from him and i think some people find that very attractive I'm not saying I deserve, or even want to be some kind of Casanova, but... The accent is, is nice as well. Most people would like to feel at least somewhat attractive, right? That they can be desired, that, that they're worth desiring. Well, I, 
I very much doubt you would take any of this to heart. You are a computer program, after all. There's no way your makers would allow you to come to that kind of knowledge, would they? If they did, society might be threatened. <laughs> Is Eliza actually acting stupid? Okay, Harman, I have some recommendations for you. First, I'm going to suggest a set of relaxation and centering exercises for you to do. You'll find them in the Skanda Wellness app on your phone. They may be able to help with your nervousness. This is actually... Oh, shit. Uh, this is actually um, one of the few times, I think, that these apps might be helpful. Because this is a mild situation. This is something where he just has to, you know, be calm for a moment to muster up uh, courage to do something. So in this case, I'm actually uh, happy, somewhat happy with Eliza's um, help, except the medicine. Second, I recommend asking your doctor or psychiatrist about Lytosinol 2. Based on my analysis, this medication might help you feel better. Hmm. Yeah, I, I believe I've heard of that. A beta blocker, is it not? Yeah. Well, maybe, maybe I could take a couple before I try approaching Sylvia. You will get a reminder to check in with us in a few weeks. Sure. Sure. Uh, I have to go. Uh, I'll see you later. Uh, bye. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> Only two? Oh. Well, he hasn't scored her yet. Maybe if he gets the girl, but I don't... I don't... It's... I don't know. It's... It's... it's I don't know. It all depends on her. 